Hello guys, today I'll be making a tier list video. It's going to be impromptu, but I'll try to rank as much decks as possible. So we're using GL Direct's tier list. So, so for S tier, it's gonna be the best decks. A tier, <coughs> I think these like so S decks. I'm confident that they can reach first place. For A decks, they can still win. But I think S decks are just better, so like one of the best, but S still better. <laughs> B is I'm still confident that they can top, so confident that they can top 32 or top 16 or top 8. Then C tier. Like it's they can still top but it's going to be harder. Harder to top. Then D tier um like <laughs> D tier I guess like least chances to top but it can still top. Worse than C. So it can still top but you're better off can still top but better off other decks then the other decks i'm just not gonna put in the tier list okay <coughs> so okay best decks for sure shoujo doji it's just good for the format because there's no more last three turns in bcs so we want a fast deck and shoujo doji is a fast deck it can it can do multi attack. It has a strong turn two. You know, with Isasau and uh, with its ride line. Yeah, and it's just a fast deck. Sometimes your opponent will not reach grade three if they're unlucky, and you have your pieces. And it also can adjust depending on matchups. It can guard from bind. It has counter charge. It can draw. It can in yeah. It's that's a lot of tools then for Eva I think it's still good but it's not it can I think it will struggle a lot on with the, against other decks but I think like uh, a really good Eva player can still top as long as they're aware of time you know they play fast since since they already know the deck they don't have to think about those small things and they can play fast no but it does need to be a bit more luckier compared to the other decks messiah honestly i'm not sure but i think it's still something to consider like maybe here with wellstra wellstra also like it can still top but I recommend to use other decks. <coughs> the Yusha, I think the Yusha is a bit better than Messiah and Wellstra because it can, because it can steal games. Like the Yusha can, it can be lucky. Like it will always go first. It will always ride grade three first. So if it checks a crit, it's gonna be hard. Like same with Varga, but I think Varga's just better. A better Dayusha. Like if it checks crit, it's very tough. Like on its first grade three swing, and it checks crit, it's gonna be hard. But if it doesn't, it's gonna be way easier to guard, and your opponent can manage your resources because it needs CB. So. Your opponent can damage deny you and control whether or not you will have it will the, your opponent can control how much attacks you will have and they can predict how much attacks you can have because all of your multi attack is dependent on CB then in Poldeo, I'll just put the new decks here I don't know if because it's bias because it's a new deck but I think like I would rather play Impoldio over Messiah Westra. Mm. 
it, it can be defend it also has good defense and if you go first you can you can have good tempo if you go first yeah okay, I'll try to go faster and not think overthink much so because I don't want the video to be that long then equilibra it's like a glass cannon deck going second your multi attackers will be live already you have big attacks your rear guards when they get chosen by your ability they get plus 10 so even when you go first without the multi attack you still have bigger attacks so it can still win games but yeah for these decks i think they really have to go first to win so you have to win a lot of dice rolls if you're gonna bring them to bcs then Blangmire, I think Blangmire is one of the best decks. I think, I mean, not the best deck, or not the best decks, not S tier, but I think it's still good enough to be at the top of A because of the divine skill. You know, when you, when you're using Blangmire and your opponent makes a mistake, they can get, they can get punished with your divine skill and they just lose. But if you don't know, Shoujo Doji can counter Blangmire because Blangmire's divine skill is at the guard step, but Shoujo Doji's skill is Shoujo Doji's defensive skill is at the attack step. So you can PG the Blangmire attack with Shoujo Doji. So definitely, yeah. So Shoujo Doji can still beat down but sometimes it can still uh, steal some games yeah I mean most decks here can still win games yes if they well I guess any deck if you get lucky enough and your opponent is breaking or something then Chrono Jet I think Chrono Jet is really good has a really good early, uh, early game like it has four color cycler then the clockwise so it's f if you're about to so it's really hard to grade two game with chrono jet if you're against chrono jet but yeah like chrono jet or i don't know but yeah i guess it's just a bit s it's slower because it's a stride deck but but yeah you have a lot of resources so you can reach your strider when you get when you get your cyclers your clockwise and your four colors you have a pretty strong early game then alden i think alden is one of the better alden is one of the better new Destined Bonds that came out. You know, it has a big hand, but sometimes it's it doesn't have enough to end games. And uh, but it's consistent though. Like you can get your pieces you need, like Razonel, and then once you have that, you can just keep on cycling, uh, looping them back. So like you call over them, and then you just get it back to hand. So you only need to see you like your pieces one time and then you can just keep on bouncing them so yeah i think alden's one of the better destined ones then shironui i think shironui honestly for me i think shironui can has almost almost equal shoujo almost equal matchup with shoujo doji but Shoujo Doji is just a bit better. But I think Shirunui can fight against Shoujo Doji. So I'm putting it at S. But Shoujo Doji is slightly better. And I'm more confident with Shoujo Doji because of the time rules. In BCS, no more last three turns. The jewel, should I put it here? I think it's like... Uh, for the bottom tiers, I'm not much. I'm not 
thinking much about their positions for the D tier because honestly I'm not sure <coughs> I don't pay attention to these decks as much but yeah maybe like this then Lord, I think Lord is still strong it also has the set order you can call out PGs and then just keep on guarding from in, with your rear guard circles and but I think Sir yeah Sir Gaon was banned so it's not as good but it still has pain killer and I think it's still a decent deck I think they're like equal with Blankmire yeah almost equal Bruce I think you can s you can sometimes steal games with it with the combos if you get your pieces Lutetia I think Lutetia is a bit better than Eva and Kronjet you know 4 drives with the dress up plus 10k front so you have really big columns and y you have the blitz order where you can draw one and it's a 15k shield so it's not bad you can also get cards from your soul i think or maybe you can also get from drop to soul then you can add back to hand something like that so it can also get pgs it has big attacks it has a strong turn two so yeah i think it's one of the better decks in b tier like almost a tier but i think Fargo is better maybe A yeah I think B tier because Varga just has a lot of draw but Lutisha doesn't have draws then Rezael still has Sir Gaon and can still farm cards but I think sometimes the his offensive power is not enough so I put it at B. Yeah, but because it's hard to play these decks because you're worried about time. So you have to really play fast. Like, but I'm confident that you know the players who play these decks or who main these decks will play faster because since they already know their deck. You know, so if you already know these decks, you can play it because you won't think you won't have to think as much. So you you can play faster, and then you'll just think about the harder decisions. Fenel, I know this has been topping recently, but I only played it uh, against it a few times. It can definitely steal games because of the so the vanguard gets crit, and one of your rear guards get crit. It also has Strega. Strega, it has Strega, so you have, so you can build the board early. Yeah, so, yeah, so this is the deck you can run a lot of the order trick or treat, or trick and treat, and then. Yeah, so it draws, it counter charge, and also, it can revive from drop the order if you play three of them at the same turn, and it gives crit to the vanguard and one of your rear guards and then your front gets plus two for every of uh, for every for every order for every trick or trick and treat in your drop so it can steal games and it also has a decent it can build the board because of strega and you also have pressure it also has rear guard revival but I don't know if I'll choose Lutetia or Fennel. If I have to choose. Because I don't know this deck as much. But Fennel is definitely faster. So I think I'll put it above Lutetia. Archite, honestly. Um. I don't know. 
I don't think it's good enough. Minerva, I think it's harder to top. But it depends on the player. Like, a lot of these decks, it depends on the player. But I think you, a lot of decks right now has a chance to top and win. But... Yeah, I'll put it B. Uh, but yeah, like, your multi, your, I think, the Minerva restand needs your opponent to be grade 3, so it's harder. <coughs> and this, it's hard to play this deck on this meta, so, they B, B. And sometimes it think it doesn't have as much hand cards as the other decks. So when you get rushed, maybe it's harder for maybe it's hard maybe it's hard because you have to get rid of your pieces from hand, maybe. <coughs> so okay. Uh, maybe here. I think I might play it over Rizel if I have to choose though. Zorga, yeah, like also this one, I think it depends on the player. But. Yeah, it has the Watermelon Order, which is good against the multi attack decks. And. Yeah, it has a lot of plays. You can bounce PGs, you can get fronts. Your rear guards have two crits. Like, I think Zorga, you will always respect the deck. <coughs> yeah, especially, like, players who master the deck. The queer, honestly, I'm not sure. <coughs> I haven't played the new version. I only saw, I only watched it, but I haven't played against it. This one we don't have in English, so I'm gonna ignore all the JP decks. The JP only decks. The bat, I think we still don't have the PR. Heroes. Yeah, I think not. Prison, maybe. Like, you can steal games. And if your opponent does not know how to play against it. <coughs> Bob Sagara. And Eva. Baromagnes. I think the new Baromagnes can be scary but I don't think it's enough where you can win like five or six of your games in seven or eight rounds with the chaos honestly I'm not sure with that deck uh, Bastro not enough anymore I think it's not good enough anymore Luhan there's a Luhan player in my country and actually Like, I think he's like, really good with the deck already and he mastered it. So I'm a bit biased. So I will put Liu Han here. But I wouldn't use it for BCS though. Yeah, I think it's still not enough because he's really good with the deck. But even though he's good with the deck, uh, if he can top in the shop challenges but it's still hard I wouldn't recommend this deck to bring in BCS MLB I don't know because if I keep on putting random decks I have to put the other decks yeah L Youthberg I think Youthberg is not enough but maybe at the bottom <laughs> This one is like the Honoli like. It's like Honoli Charmote Rista Kyrie, I think Kyrie is still good. But I don't know which one is better though. In the lyrical decks. Nisha for L I think I'll, I'll just add it because it's new, but I'd rather take the other decks, but yeah.
Yeah, I think like the destined ones are almost same power level almost. And I think this is the new Michu. I think Michu is one of the better lyrical decks. I think if I had to choose a lyrical deck, I'd use Michu over the rest. Chris Rain, it got a new multi attacker. Yeah, like same level. And then. I don't know if I'm missing. Oh, yeah, Leonorn. I think Leonorn is one of the best decks as well. But, Shoranui. It will have a harder time with Shoru Doji. Because Shoru Doji, you can just bind the back row. And. It disables their 10k shields. With their, from their Lagris or Broccoli. And I think, yeah, I would rather play Shiranui, but this bias though because I play Shiranui and Shoujo Doji. But I was considering using Leonor though. But yeah, RBCS is December 7 to 8, so it's two weeks from now from my first BCS for this year. Then Night Rose, we don't have Vispo, we don't have. Levidras, yeah, it's a fun deck, but I think it's still not enough. It's gonna be one of the best decks though, next set, but right now it's still not enough. Magnolia, <laughs> maybe here. I don't know. Millstrom, Villano, no. And I think that's it. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Tell me guys if I missed anything or are there any cards I should have put here. So this is my tier list. So best decks, Shoujo Doji, Shiranui, Leonorn. You know, like S and A, they're all good picks. But I think S decks are better than A. But the A is... The A group are really strong as well. Then for B, I'm confident that these decks can top. But yeah, I obviously I want to pick the higher tier ones. And it also depends on you if you're more comfortable with these decks. Since yeah, if you're more comfortable with these decks, then maybe it's better for you. Since you won't misplay as much or yeah, you won't misplay as much. And since you know the deck more, yeah, you'll play better and maybe you know how to play around the other decks or around odd. When maybe you know how to play against the other top decks. And also one factor is maybe your opponent did not practice against your deck. So they m they're not sure what your deck does or how to play against your deck. So Michu, yeah, a lot of lyricals here. Michu, Fennel, Kairi, Letitia, maybe. Yes. And Chronojet, <coughs> Chronojet, Eva. Yeah, and then these decks are Chronojet, Eva, and Le Rezel, a bit slower, but yeah, if you know how to play these decks, you, you can play fast. Then harder to top, Alden. It's just not enough. Like, it has a good hand size, and it has it's consistent and it has decent offensive power. But sometimes it's not enough to close out games. I think sometimes, but I I still know it can top the Yusha. You know, if you're a bit luckier, <coughs> you know you can checking you're checking crit on your first grade three swing. On your first grade three turn. Equilibra and Impoldio. You know when you go first you have good tempo. Or I think Equilibra can also play going second because of the multi attackers and Lisha Fael, you know, the divine skill with the crit and eighteen K base. Maybe I can put Levidras here in its current form, but I'll just keep this here. And Chris Rain, you know, five attacks. 
with divine skill i think it i just know it has a new multi attacker so maybe like four three to five attacks then the you know these decks can still top but i think it's gonna be hard and it's like i'm stretching this like checking if i miss out anything and yeah this is my personal tier list this is what i think the decks to consider on the upcoming bcs's that are still in the set for meta and yeah i ignore all the jp decks and decks that i don't think about and yes so uh, that's my tier list